Now, you said the BBC had misinterpreted your views on shoot to kill, that some mm. remarks you made were taken out of context. And in fact, the BBC Trust, I think, upheld your point of view. They did, they did. But there are, I mean, we've had lots of messages from people saying that you are opposed to shoot to kill. So do you want to just clarify what your well, position is? Well, the on context this? in which I made the remarks about shoot to kill, which, as you say, the complaint was upheld by the BBC Trust because they were taken completely out of context, was over the 1980s policy in Ireland where the shoot to kill uh, was obviously wrong. Um, what I did say was that in a wholly defensive situation, so such, like the one such, that as happen, been such as happens on Wednesday, then that is the response. But if you were Prime Minister, would you be happy to order people, police or military, to shoot to kill on Britain's streets? Uh, I would, I'm not happy with the shoot to kill policy in general. I think that is... Um, quite dangerous and I think can often be counterproductive. I think you have to have security that prevents people firing off weapons where you can. There are various degrees of doing things as we know, but uh, the idea you end up with a war on the streets is not a good thing. Surely you have to work to try and prevent these things happening. That's got to be the priority. And that's perfectly, it's a perfectly legitimate, well, but it's the right response. <clears throat> it was the response that was made at the time. There was no other thing to do at that time. And you support, therefore, well, the police behaving... The police did their best to protect Parliament, and Keith Palmer lost his life trying to protect Parliament, and let's, let's remember that. Uh, I would, I'm not happy with the shoot-to-kill policy in general. I think that is... Um, quite dangerous and I think can often be counterproductive. But just to be clear, sorry, I don't want to, but this does matter to people. Are you saying that it's absolutely right for the police to have, you know, when these they situations the, arise, the power to shoot the, and kill? They have the powers they need in a wholly defensive situation, yes. But you've got to be careful that you don't end up with what we had in Ireland in the 1980s. But if you were Prime Minister, would you be happy to order people, police or military, to shoot to kill on Britain's streets? Uh, I would, I'm not happy with the shoot to kill policy in general. I think that is um, quite dangerous and I think can often be counterproductive. They have, shoot the, and kill. they have the powers they need in a wholly defensive situation, yes. Uh, I would, I'm not happy with the shoot to kill policy in general.